So on the inside of this nondescript McCafe pie box is the very latest sweet treat from Mickey D's. That's right, guys. You already saw the title to this one. It's their all-new cookies and cream pie, and I've got it up next for you here on the channel. So stay tuned, because I'm Ian Kay, and you're about to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian Kay. Stay frosty. Yeah, I'm definitely getting some cookies and cream vibes with this one, guys. Feast your eyes on this here. Let's take it out of the box for you. A very lovely situation here, nice and dark. And I got to say, this crust is looking pretty amazing. Filled up with the good stuff on the inside. Let me break this one on down for you real fast before we get fully into it. All right, so I'm definitely excited to get into this one, guys. Take a look at the cookies and cream pie, described as a chocolate cookie crumb baked crust that's filled with vanilla cream and chocolate sandwich cookie pieces. And if you look carefully, it looks like it has a little white confetti all around it, similar to the holiday pie from back in the day. I gotta say, this is looking really, really nice. A little on the small side, admittedly, but the combination of all those flavors together, I'm thinking this is gonna be pretty good. At the very least, it's looking pretty awesome. It definitely looks the part. So let's not waste any more time on this one. Let's get into it. This is the all new cookies and cream pie here at Mickey D's. Let's peep out this flavor. So yeah, this is already winning in the presentation department, guys. Lots of the chocolate sandwich cookie pieces right in there along with that cream. But honestly, it is smaller than, say, the holiday pie, my all-time favorite pie outside of pumpkin over here at Mickey D's. This really doesn't fill out the box fully, but still, just a little bit shorter, but at the same time, very nice in that combination of goodness, guys. So you know what? Let me break this one in half for you. I'll crack it towards the screen, and I'll try and do this right down the middle, and then we'll get into it. Lots of creamy goodness there. Take a look at that. Very, very nice indeed, guys. Very nice indeed. This is probably going to be the better one to go in on. Let's give this a go. Finally, the cookies and cream pie here at Mickey D's. Let's peep this out. Mmm. Chocolate cookie action on that. Vanilla cream. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, the vanilla cream is very close to the holiday cream pie, actually, guys. But honestly, the chocolate itself is a little on the bland side. It's not quite cookies and cream in, in terms of the flavor being so strong on this. But at the same time, it is chocolate. Let's keep going in. Mmm, it's tasty, though. Well, admittedly, as tasty as it is, the sweetness is not quite there. It's a little soft in terms of the sweet factor on this one here, but the flavor is decent. And again, those little white confetti pieces that you're seeing there, very reminiscent of the holiday pie along with the cream. But again, it's that chocolate crust that needs just a little bit more sweetness to it to really take this one up a notch. It's still flavorful, though. It's just a little muted. And you know what? That's not necessarily a bad thing, but in the back of my head, I kept thinking, is this going to taste like an Oreo cookie at least there, at least with the sweetness being a little elevated. But this is not really like that. So it's its own thing, which is cool. But at the same time, I wish it had just a little bit more flavor in terms of the sweet factor added to the chocolate because the vanilla cream is decent along with those little white confetti pieces. And of course, with the chocolate sandwich cookie pieces on the inside, it's not bad. Let's go for another couple of bites. And of course, we're going to finish this half out throughout this review. Hang on. It's tasty. I mean, I'd get it again. But I think, as you can probably tell, this really doesn't hold a candle to the holiday pie as far as I'm concerned. But still, very tasty for what it is. And the first of its type, at least, for a cookies and cream flavor over here at Mickey D's. So let's go for one more bite. We'll wrap this little quickie review with a rating coming up next. But it's definitely worth the price point for what it is. I just wish it was just a little bit larger. You're going to notice the size being a little small when you get this. Let's just go for one more bite and we'll finish this one out. Hang on. Well, that muted chocolate flavor is kind of growing on me just a bit, but again, I'm really wishing it was just a little bit sweeter. Considering the cream on the inside of this, I was hoping it was going to deliver a little bit in that department, but the presentation is pretty cool, and again, it does give me vibes of that holiday pie from back in the day, and again, I can't wait to give that a go later on in the season. But still, very tasty for what this is, but again, a little small for the price point. Even though I would get this again, it still needs to be just a little bit more in the flavor department, at least as far as the chocolate's concerned. But still, definitely worth checking out for sure. Well, I'm definitely glad I gave that one a shot because I was really looking forward to it. And honestly, I can kind of see that pairing up pretty nicely with any of the McCafe beverages over here, most notably an iced coffee as far as I'm concerned. I think that would be a nice little combo. But again, on its own, and based upon the rating that you're going to see on the screen here right now, I have to rate it based upon that. And naturally, with the sweetness not really being up there and the blandness of the chocolate outer crust, I got to say that vanilla kind of made up for it in the middle. I still stand by the fact that I would get this one again because honestly, guys, it is pretty tasty and the first of its type over here at Mickey D's as far as a cookies and cream type of pie is concerned. So definitely give this one a go. It is worth trying at least once. 
All right, so do me a quick favor like always. Drop those comments down below. Let me know if you are going to be giving this one a shot because I'd venture to guess, as usual, if you've made it this far into the review, you're most likely going to. So do me a favor and confirm that for me. And when you do give it a go, what did you think of the overall flavor? Did it really deliver to you? Was it sweet enough? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep the Sour Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.